Are you on a budget but want some high-end level gaming performance? This right here is one of the best deals we've seen on an Asus Prebo. For $379, it has some awesome specs for the money. We're about to open it up and see what's inside. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. 90% of their products come from small brands with many of them being from right here in the US. The Damascus Steel Flip Knife is made by Real Simple Tools in Texas, for example. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs only a fraction of the value. And the best part is their box lineup is constantly changing to bring cool and new products. We got the Flip and Weekender boxes and love them. The Flip box comes with a gorgeous folding Damascus steel knife, tuning rod, and leather sheath. The Weekender, on the other hand, comes with an heirloom level sleek carry-all bag built from thick, capable canvas with a heavy-duty reinforced frame. It's perfect for short trips out of town. Every month, Bespoke Post introduces their members to new products. These include outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, based on a preference quiz that they fill out. Bespoke Post is great because you even get to preview your box before it's shipped. Once you get a box assigned to you, you can check what's inside and decide to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box, or three, skip the month entirely for no charge. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description down below and enter Toasty Bros 20 at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash Toasty Bros 20. Now, let's get back to the video. Breaking news, I'm a rat. <laughs> That's McAllister. McAllister, put yourself on screen. <laughs> uh, this is an Asus gaming desktop we bought on eBay. It's a refurb computer, but it's a really good deal. For $379, you get a 1660 Ti and an i5 11400F. I'm going low, I'm going low, I'm going low. eBay, we hope you love your purchase. Thank you, eBay. I think we will. We offer hassle-free returns. I like that. Okay. Wow. Came from California, and it is our i5 11400F and GTX 1660 Ti system. For looks like our total after tax and shipping was was 401. Beat it. 401. Um, I believe was it free shipping? It is free shipping. It was with tax, I think. Oh yeah. Which yes. will vary state to state. So yeah. 379. 379 smile. Um, but the best part is, and we normally can't say this, but it might change after this video goes live. You can actually still buy these right now. At the Ooh. time of recording this video, it is October 31st, so that may change, but there's a wide range of these in stock at this price point. Oh, this is, dude, it's Asus. I can already tell because there's an acrylic side panel. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, why, why is the sheath off? Dude, that almost slipped out of my hand. Yeah, I don't know. It's, little, it's almost like they used it for packing material. No, this one's, it's metal and acrylic. I don't mm. know if you remember, but there's this weird thing with Asus where they actually explain it to us. We worked with them one time. Basically, in I think it's the EU, they're not supposed to ship the acrylic on the PC. It's some weird thing. Yeah. So you get both, which so is kind of cool. You get the acrylic so you can actually see the inside. And the best part about these is it looks very proprietary on paper, but the hardware is actually pretty standard. And we'll dive into that here in a second. But the rest of the stuff you get is an included power cord. Yes. So that's always yes. nice. And a keyboard. Is there a mouse in here? I don't know and what's And I guess in there. one thing to note is that these are technically refurbished. Uh, and obviously with the refurb item, you never really know what's been refurbished. They could even just be used. And the most crusty, dusty HDMI I've ever seen in my life. Ew. Yeah, this. This is one. What is on that HDMI? Ooh, the mouse. I mean, the mouse has definitely been used. Definitely has some some crusties all up in it. Say the cable. <laughs> that, is that used? <laughs> Say the cable. Yeah, I mean, and the acrylic side panel still has the peel on it, but it does look like there. I think there's going to be a little bit of scratching because some of these have kind of gone through the peel. But hey, I mean, that, that's okay. You know, we do get two panels to choose from. So mouse, keyboard. Does the keyboard look pretty used or not too bad? I see. I see the. Oh! Print. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! We're missing oh. something. Um, did these it fall? Are oh wait, here we keys. go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's one. Do they actually go back in? Are you in? Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it went. <laughs> We're back, baby. Keyboard only looks like slightly used, and it works now. <laughs> it works I mean, now. Hey, that just happened in shipping. So that does tell you the state of how well this was packed. Not absolutely amazing, but there was packing material. <laughs> it's trying um, to escape. So as far as the computer goes, pretty... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I said a computer. <laughs> As far as the computer goes. <laughs> that's what I called Jonah though. <laughs> so, I mean, a little bit of scratching here and there, but like it's not terrible. But yeah, it's clearly used. Uh, even right here, I can see the side panel's been off and it, they didn't really get it back on like completely properly. But I mean, so far I can live with these small inconveniences for how good this PC is supposed to be. Cause as you can see, 11400F, which is a six core 12 thread, we get long DDR4 3200 and it's eight by two. So it's actually 16 gigs. Mm -hmm. GTX 1660 Ti, six gig. We get a 512 gig NV 
Jimmy Gen 3, I love that they actually label like everything properly on this. Yeah, really I nice. would say back during the shortages, we picked one of these up and it wasn't the same GPU. I think it was maybe uh, just a normal 1660 or 1660 Super. And we paid like $700 for that <laughs> new back then. And back then that was a really good deal during the shortages. But now with stuff coming down in price, I guess these things are just refurbs that are either sitting on the shelf from Asus or wherever at under $400. I think that's a really good buy in today's market. Yeah, and I think whoever we got it from definitely wasn't like Asus or anything. No. It looked like some random name. I don't know that's if they were- That's a big card. That's a really big card. Is that a twin? Yeah. I oh, know it's a single. It's a blower card. Nice. It's a really big blower card for a 1660. Man, look at the dust in here. It's like oh. cardboard dust kind of though. So. But you're starting to see what we're talking about with this being non-proprietary. We have an IO shield where that we can swap out. the motherboard if we want to. We have uh, normal RAM slots, normal power connectors, yeah. normal 24, 24 pin, uh, CPU power. Is Everything is normal, yeah. which is weird for these companies. Similar like HP or Dell or things like that. They always use proprietary motherboards for the specific case, but this in theory, you could build something else in this. Yeah, and so of course, six gig card. Um, we do have a, just a normal cooler too. Um, it just uses normal Intel mounting. So theoretically, you could pop this out, do new thermal paste. You could maybe go up to an i7. We're gonna check that power supply and find out. But obviously you might need to go with a different cooler too, which you do have a, is that a 120? No, that's like an 80 or 92 millimeter. Yeah. Um, but I think there is a spot up, up here. So you might better fit like a small tower cooler. I think a small tower cooler would fit. And since this motherboard does come out and so does the back panel, I'm actually curious to see. Let's see if the back panel, it's if just we have like access. a normal case. Like, yeah, I'm wondering, do we have access to the back bracket to where we could upgrade the cooler if we wanted to, to like a, one of those ID cooling SC214s? And those are like under $20 and would make a big upgrade for the aesthetics. Dude, look, they, I think they kind of thought of it all. Wow, look at that. It's, it's a little closer here at the pins, but I think you can make it work. Worst case, you have to pop some of the screws out and you know put your backing plate on there. Cable management's great too. Power supply is very OEM looking, but uh, we can we have to pop it out to check yeah. the wattage. Yeah, so far, I mean, it doesn't look like the inside's really been tampered with. This could be a thing where you gotta think, refurb can mean anything. Sometimes it literally just means that they got it back because someone said there was an issue, they tested it, and it was fine. Uh, I can keep reading it from there if you need ah! All right, chickeny, and it is 80 plus bronze, um, and it looks like uh, continuous load combined show not exceed 32 amps. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's, I think I see, oh, 500 watts. Oh, that's not is. bad at all. 500 is pretty um, good. And it, it, this had two CPU uh, four pins. So, and I mean, I think in theory you could go up to like an, I don't see unless the motherboard has some limitations. Yeah. So I seven maybe even if you wanted to. So yeah, for a budget build, this is really good, really good value for money. And from the seller, I think when you buy it immediately, I've never actually tested these warranties before, but they include one of those like third party, like one year warranties. I've never actually used one before like those all state warranties. Like I think you do include one for free when you buy this. So I guess there's a little bit of peace of mind. If something goes wrong, you at least get some money back. I doubt you'll get an RMA. So far on paper, it's looking really good. I guess we should just plug it up I and just, see what it looks like. What is this too. We get two eight pins and Dang. they're they're plus two. So you could do like all different types of graphics cards in this. Dang, that's pretty that's cool. That's pretty cool. Kind of making sure this video can actually continue. Does it work? Yeah, this is all great and all, but if it doesn't work, that's a problem. It's trying, it's trying to take off and RGB. Ooh, yeah, it got a big strip on the inside. Strip on the inside, we got RGB up front. It's very classy looking. It's not too bad. What do you yeah. think, Jonah? It's not bad. Simple. Seems like the airflow is gonna be pretty mediocre. I, does it even have a fan in the front? That no, might be I don't the think limiting. There's any fans in so, this build. So we might have <laughs> some temperature issues minus the one in the back. I remember the last one we had, that fan is like a oh, it, temperature. Oh, it is there. I didn't even see it. Yeah, that one fan is temperature <laughs> like triggered. So might be. I said there was no fans. I literally just didn't even pay attention to that one, even though I said it was there earlier. But yeah, only an exhaust fan. It'll probably be fine. Um, but yeah, wasn't there a thing last time where it was got really loud? It would just ramp on and yes. off. Yes. Which is a little annoying. So Hopefully this one doesn't do that, but I think for testing sake, we'll use the stock panel, which does have some ventilation, but we will have both panels on so you guys will actually get to see the real temperatures. So let's go ahead and install some games and see how she performs. All right, gamers, we are now starting with this PC in good old Fortnite on performance settings, far view distance, medium textures, 100% render scale. And off the bat, before we drop in, noticing one thing, those CPU temperatures are a little bit high. We're getting about 85 degrees Celsius, only at 30% load. So that would mean under full load, we probably would thermal throttle a little bit. So I'll probably mess with it in between my benchmark and Jackson's benchmark. We'll redo the thermal pace and see if the tower cooler is just a little bit crusty. There's a chance because these are refurb systems. They've probably been used and abused. Um, and there's a chance the thermal pace is just older. So we can change that out. Or we may have an issue where that tower cooler just is 
isn't enough. I will say 84 degrees is not awful if you're just gaming. My only concern would be if you do more than gaming, like multi-threaded workloads, rendering and stuff like that, you might get some thermal throttling issues where you're losing a lot of your performance. But um, it, it's not to the point where I'm incredibly worried about it, but for those who do care about temperatures, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. But it doesn't mean the performance is hindered at all. The performance is actually really solid. We're getting 200 plus FPS at times. Pretty dang good. I do love that this system comes with two sticks, 16 gigs dual channel. That's a problem we always see with these pre-builds at these price points. They're so great, but then there's always that caveat of, oh, well, you need to upgrade the RAM. Not with this one. This one, it's perfect out of the box, especially if you're playing Fortnite. You're getting a high refresh rate gaming experience. No real major optimization was required. I just threw it in performance mode, lowered some of the settings, and boom, we're good to go. Now that all the textures finally loaded in, that was a little slow. Um, it's it's, it's looking really good. Very, very impressive so far, especially if you're trying to get a super competitive gaming experience. But we'll see what it ends up being once we get into a highly competitive area where there's a lot of action going on. So yeah, we're, it looks like we're peaking about 85, 87 degrees Celsius. I will say this computer ha has some weird noises. Um, that back fan, I believe is tied to the CPU temperature. So when the CPU spikes, that back fan revs up super quickly. Um, not an ideal configuration, but again, with these systems at this price point, you have a little bit of wiggle room to do some customization and modifying it to make it a better overall setup. Why did I shoot him across the map with that? That was such a dumb idea. Oh, hey, what's up? Hello? Ah, leave me alone! Did I really just run away from me after that? I'm not sure why'd you do that. It's because of that. Because there's two AIs. Oh, Fortnite, why are you slowing me down? Fortnite, why are you slowing me down? Oh my God, I got killed by Derek James. But yeah, I, I just, I don't know. Even with this flaw of the CPU being a little bit warm, which could be fixed, the GPU is running fine. Everything else is running really smooth. I think for the price, this is an absolute steal. I did look on eBay and you have to be careful with this seller. They do have some that are lower spec that they're selling at the same price. I saw some with like 5,600 Gs and stuff like that. Those are good systems, but if you can find this specific model, the 1660 Ti and 11400F for the $379 price point, that's a really good deal um, because it's a very good platform to upgrade on. Um, I think there was another version also I was leading. There was a Ryzen 7 3700X version um, that came with a 1660 Ti as well, but technically on paper, even though this 3700X has eight cores and 16 threads, the 11400F is a better gaming CPU. So. There are options on eBay and we, we go to tell you guys, if you're watching this in the future and you're saying, oh, well, this thing's out of stock right now, this is just a good example of just hunting around on eBay every so often will yield you the best results if you're trying to find a refurbished office computer because there's just so many of these sellers that get bulk of these things and sometimes they're good deals, sometimes there's not, but if you are patient and you just hunt every single day, just look up gaming PC on eBay, that's what we do around here, um, you'll find some good deals pop up that most people won't be able to take advantage of. It's always fun too when a PC actually performs well in Fortnite because you've had some higher end systems not work well in performance mode, but with this hardware, it's working good. Fortnite's just such a finicky game. Uh, sometimes it'll run great, sometimes it'll struggle, sometimes we'll be dropping in and we'll be getting 20 FPS, but here we're getting like 70 to 80 on far view distance. It's working, it's working great. I'm making a mistake here. Oh, got him. Cream soda, you're done. Bill Bros, you had 17 HP, what the heck? Yeah, you should probably go back to work after that one. I only, this is all I got, dude. I'm, I'm not trying to be a troll, I swear. This is all I can do. Are you really gonna go in there and take that gun? Hey Epic, your AI's broken, please fix. <laughs> I think those extra kills were entertaining enough, and that's enough Fortnite for you, ladies and gentlemen. 200 FPS at times. I would say the, the, the average is probably like 160 plus, 180 at times, but 
yeah, getting almost 200 FPS average performance settings in Fortnite for a PC under $400, we're looking at that real console killer territory, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to a more demanding title and see what this thing can do. But first, before we switch, I am going to clean out the thermal paste or change the thermal paste so you guys can see if there is a performance increase by doing that or if we just have a bad tower cooler or CPU combo. All right, guys, we're playing some Halo Infinite. We're at max FOV, 1080p. Uh, medium preset, and I think, oh, we got an explosive kind of game mode going on. It's gonna be so explosive, yeah, so this, social. This is gonna be very demanding. <laughs> From, the, From grave, the grave, though. Yeah, I mean, so far, getting <clears throat> close to like 100 FPS, we could go low settings, too, if we wanted to, to get like, you know, 144, get like a higher fresh rate. Yeah, we did, we did change out the thermal paste on the cooler just to see if it would make a difference. Honestly, not a major difference. I just think that tower cooler, not ideal for this i5, but it's not in the realm where I'm worried about it. Hey, oh, yeah, baby. Crayola expert, you're done. You know, I'll be doing math today. We need to go up here. That's definitely, that's what's gonna win us this game. I didn't kill him. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> he read me like a book. I don't even think that's something I want. Yes. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. no, the geometry that's was a off. That's Crayola expert. <laughs> that man just plays with crowns. No, now he has the quantum translocator. He emphasis in the little. Very little. Teammates, why are y'all trying to rocket me? Oh, I killed myself. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, that was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trade. There's. Both. And Dang there it. it is. Dang it! We fed. We fed them <laughs> the rocket kills they needed, but the PC works amazing. And uh, the temps actually, they're not as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Yeah, not bad for CPU, GPU's good. Let's go ahead and run some built-in benchmarks and wrap this video up real quick. Okay, we have just put our pre-built to the test and it actually kind of surprised me. Yeah, for $379, I mean, we expected some solid performance with the specs, but it kind of outdid those expectations. And it's a really good buy right now if you can find one of these things. Now, full disclaimer, at the time of recording this video, they are still in stock, but you might have to do a little bit of hunting on eBay because these are just random referred PCs that are coming from a seller that may run out of stock here at some point, especially when we release this video, that might happen. So check that link down below to see up-to-date pricing and availability. And let us know what you think of this deal because normally when we see these things pop up, they pop up more regularly in different places. So let us know if you pick one up in the comment section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. We actually have a few of these PCs over at PCBros.tech, but if the pre-built market doesn't really float your boat, we do have a lot of custom builds for you too. PCBros.tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. More specifically, you can get custom builds as well. And if you use code TOASTYBROS, you want to check out, you'll save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.